My presentation is on sports, watching sports on TV and participating in sports. My first hypothesis is that males watch more sports on TV. My second hypothesis is that students who do well in school, higher GPAs, are more likely to participate in sporting activities. For my first hypothesis, I had 15 males, 15 females. TV viewing was simply how many hours of sports on TV do you watch in a given week? Males were about 12, females about 5. My second hypothesis, again, about, again 15 men, 15 women. GPA was a simple 0 to 4 scale. You can see males just over 3, women about 3.5. The activity variable was a statement, a Likert scale. The statement says, I play a lot of sports. On, a, on average, males were around the strongly agree. Strongly agree was coded as one, strongly disagree coded as five. And males were, females were about middle, about neutral. For my cross tabulations, my first hypothesis, watching sports on TV. You can see almost three quarters of females said they watched 10 hours of sports on TV a week or less, while about two thirds of males said they watched more than 10 hours of sports on TV. And you see the chi-square there is significant. This is a significant difference. For hypothesis two, participating in sports, those who did better in school, half of them tended to agree or strongly agree about playing a lot of sports. Whereas, again, half of those who did well in school didn't agree with the statement about playing in sports a lot, uh, playing a lot of sports. Three quarters of those who had a GPA of 3.0 or less said that they did not play a lot of sports. This difference, however, is not significant as shown by the large value of the chi-square test statistic. First regression. Uh, my regression analysis uh, results. Compared to females, males are significantly more likely to watch sports on TV. The more siblings you have, the less sports you watch on TV. That's not a significant difference, though. The more you, uh, you like religion, the more sports you watch on TV. But again, that is not a significant difference. My prediction value for males when everything is on average, men watch about 13 hours of sports on TV each week. For women, it's about four. And my R square there is 0.417. So taken together, my independent variables do a good job at explaining variation in watching sports on TV. For my second hypothesis, individuals with higher GPA play more sports, but it's not a significant difference. Those with more income, higher income, play more sports, but not a significant difference. And those with fewer friends growing up played more sports, but again, that's not a significant difference. You see my R square there is pretty small, so taken together, my independent variables did not do a good job at explaining variation in my dependent variable playing sports on TV. My predictions, I'm sorry, my prediction was 2.98, so it's about 3, it's about middle, because my dependent variable here was measured on a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being strongly agree that I do play a lot of sports, and 5 being strongly disagree with that statement. So when all variables are on average, individuals were neutral regarding that statement of playing a lot of sports. So my first hypothesis was correct both in terms of chi-square and regression. Gender did play a significant role. Men watch more sports on TV. My second hypothesis was not supported. Neither my chi-square nor my regression showed any significant differences. If I use symbolic interactionism to explain my findings, I would show that males are socialized more so towards sports, watching it on TV more so than females. I could also argue that those who are studying and trying to get higher GPAs don't have as much time to play sports. So on this last slide, you can go any number of ways that you want, but this is an example of a presentation you would give. And remember that the presentation should be five minutes, no more. I've done four and a half. If you have any questions, please let me know.